I don't know what I actually filmed, so I hope future me in editing can do something with the footage that uh, both me and my sister got. Uh, so I don't exactly know what you saw right now, but I'm sure you noticed that I went to a Motel X event. It was the press conference for the upcoming edition. Uh, I was like really excited. I'm always excited to know what they're cooking. And this year, the theme is literally like cooking stuff. Um, if you go to their socials, you'll see the promo and everything. And it's about a dinner. Um, yeah, pretty cool. So this event had a sort of buffet with some drinks as well in the beginning. Then they presented what will be at the this year's edition. Um, some pretty cool movies. I'm excited to, to finally see Infinity Pool. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen it yet. They will show Run Rabbit Run as well, so I'm gonna wait for those. Uh, and I guess the most exciting thing is that Brendan Cronenberg is coming. So they're going to show all of his films. So I'm pretty excited to see in theaters all of his films like Antiviral and Possessor and Infinity Pool with him in the house. It's going to be really exciting. And that's just a taste of it's going to be like this edition. Um, they'll have plenty more uh, movies shown. They're going to show The Exorcist. And yeah, so you'll see a bunch of vlogs and reviews uh, in September. That's when the festival takes place. And in this press conference, they also showed a film and we got to see Cobweb early from, I think, basically everyone. I don't think the movie is out anywhere. Maybe some critics saw it already, but yeah, it's not out in the US, it's not out here. And yeah, that's what this video is mostly about. I'm gonna review Cobweb and let me tell you, I have a lot of thoughts. So. Cobweb review. I didn't know what it was about, so I went in completely blind. Uh, all I knew was that it stars uh, Anthony Starr from The Boys uh, and Lizzie Kaplan, who I know from Castle Rock, and the kid that's in Come On, Come On, with the something, I don't remember his name. And it's a pretty good like main cast, so I was excited uh, just with that. And yeah, I didn't see any like reviews, obviously, but any thoughts, anything. So yeah, I was just I just went in, saw it, and this movie has a lot of problems. Unfortunately, I was really disappointed disappointed in the way that this has like a like the middle of the film in my opinion is pretty good because it really keeps you guessing uh, you don't really know what is real what is not uh, you don't know who to trust but the issue is everything else is kind of a mess like the beginning of the film is really weird because they don't set up anything they just go into the story and it, there's no character development you're just supposed to yeah care for these characters when you don't know anything about them uh, you're supposed to be intrigued by what's happening but there's no setup the flow is really weird it sort of moves too quickly because you just get into it right in the middle of the story uh, but at the same time it's pretty slow it's just an hour and 28 minutes and it felt like a two hour film at least an hour and 45 minutes so really weird then the ending 
there's a lot of issues as well. Obviously, I can't get into spoilers, but there's a lot of stuff that is spoilery. Uh, that it's an issue, like things don't make sense. What's happening, although intriguing, uh, it's one. It isn't new. There's other films. Uh, one in particular that does the same thing, um, and to it's a mess like things aren't well explained you don't understand why this family is doing what they're doing you don't understand why these things are happening and yeah there's a ton of plot holes in this film this was probably like a first draft of a script it's so really weird um, and that's like the main issue with the film like everything else it was fine like the actors were pretty good i really liked the kid uh the cinematography basic but it had like one or two interesting shots uh interesting movements the score basic as well uh the jump scares didn't really work in my opinion so yeah i guess uh, I'm not a big fan of jump scares, but they set up a few and they didn't work like they they led nowhere. So, yeah, everything else is kind of okay, but the story, there's way too many issues and I was really disappointed because, yeah, in the middle, I was sort of like, okay, maybe, maybe there's something, but... In the beginning I was not into it and the ending just fell flat. Yeah, unfortunately I cannot recommend this one. Uh, overall I give it a 2 out of 5 because I was disappointed when I left the theater. Uh, yeah, so if you've seen it already or if you end up seeing it, let me know in the comments your thoughts. I'm really curious to see if people like this one because in the beginning it sort of looked like the boogeyman but the boogeyman is way better written and way better developed there's something there in this one there isn't unfortunately and yeah i'm gonna forget this one pretty quickly uh but hey i'm excited about motel x uh hopefully i'll see some pretty cool films and I'll show them to you. I mean, I'll give you a review. I'll show the festival and yeah, in case you want to come and maybe meet Brandon Cronenberg, the festival takes place from the 12th to the 18th of September. So yeah, maybe book a flight, I don't know, um, and come here and see some pretty cool films there's a uh, way more that they'll announce like in september in august yeah they'll announce way more movies but right now there's a list in their website and yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and i'll see my next video bye